before second overtime. And this is Lydell Ross going to the sidelines of the Hurricanes. Running out of bounds, but it's a pretty good pickup on first down, like about nine yards. Ross showing off his uh, outstanding speed. Paid for it, too, as a tough tackle there by D.J. Williams. But Ross picking up nine yards. Second and one at the 16. Hemby, freshman tight end, goes in for Ohio State. Single back is Claret. Penzel gives it to him. He's looking for some daylight, and I tell you, there's some quick Miami people that got there that time. That was Roger McIntosh. It's third down and one. Claret's carried 22 times tonight for 42 yards. Ooh. Not quite two yards per carry. Well. See here, he can get it this time. Now, well, Prenzel will do it himself, and he just jumps right on the hip pocket of the center, and Bryce Bishop, and he rides along with him and has the first down at the 11-yard line. They're all juniors all the way across that offensive front for the Buckeyes. So they're coming back. First down at the 11. Prenzel wants to pass. Now does and has it completed down to the five yard line to Michael Jenkins. Maurice Sykes defending. Buckeye offensive line, all those juniors you're talking about, Keith, are doing a pretty good job now of keeping Krenzel upright. He's got time to find Jenkins on the crossing route, and then a really a sure tackle by Maurice Sykes keeps Jenkins from getting in the end zone. Taylor was there, but he looks a little tender, doesn't he? That half, half step slow. Yep. Second down from the five. Claret. Touchdown. Well, Maurice Sykes couldn't do it two plays in a row. He had Claret right at the line of scrimmage and could not make the tackle as Claret sidestepped him and accelerated through a huge hole and into the end zone. Now it is fourth down the final play unless they can stick it in the end zone. Andre Johnson Roscoe Parrish and Kellen Winslow and Dorsey under pressure throws it incomplete the Buckeyes win. C. Grant was the man who pressured Dorsey, and now the party begins for the Ohio State Buckeyes. They are 14 and 0. Tied at 38 as we start the third overtime period. Tim Brandt, Cunningham, and Sam Ryan with you in Columbus. First down, Ohio State. Drew Carter in motion. They throw to Carter. Tough catch. He's at the 21. Carter. Carter's a good story. He's a great oh, leaper. He was injured all of last year. His brother plays for the University of Minnesota. He's got five receptions here today. Second down for Krenzel. He's got time. Throws to the flat. This is Hartsock. Ben Hartsock inside the 15, and he's got the first down for Ohio State. Brandon Schnitger, the fullback, comes out. They bring in Ryan Hamby again. He caught one of the touchdowns. He's a big old mismatch guy at 6'5". Frenzel's in trouble. Now they've got him. He throws to the corner and overthrows him. Throws it away. No penalty. Oh, well, you know what? Here's that. Come on. If Michael Jenkins was Shaquille O'Neal, he couldn't have caught that ball. And you put the ball back into Philip Rivers' hands. But that's where he excels. Oh, absolutely. Some of his best passes are incompletions because he doesn't throw the pick. Wisely throws it away. No, you cannot take a sack right now. Here it is, second down and 10 now for the Buckeyes. Little play action. Again, there's pressure. They throw to the open man. That's Keith Carter. Keith Carter inside the 10, down to the 7. Not enough for the first down. Much of the play calling comes from Krenzel at the line. It's done after he makes his reads. 
He now looks at the defense. He counts the defenders and sends Carter in motion. Third down, throws it, touchdown Ohio State. Michael Jenkins. Seven catches for Mr. Clutch. Here's McClendon, inside the one. Boy, he looked down. No signal. He looked down. No signal. He looked like his forward momentum was stopped. His, it looked like his butt was on the ground before he fell back into the end zone. Still no signal. Nope. It's over. Ohio State wins it. So the defending national champion, Ohio State Buckeyes, pull it out in three overtimes, 44-38. For Ed Cunningham and Sam Ryan, I'm Tim Brandt saying so long from Ohio Stadium and Columbus, Ohio. And now Camp Randall and 80,000 plus, they come alive here. It is loud in Madison for overtime. Carlos Hyde breaks a tackle and then scoops ahead, does Hyde near the 15-yard line. And that'll be a first down for the Buckeyes. Now Devin Smith does a nice job almost to the end, and then they give up the edge. Braxton Miller keeps it himself, and Miller is taken down near the 10-yard line. So much has been asked of this Wisconsin defense. Chris Borland, the starting middle linebacker, out. Urban looks on, anxiously awaiting to see what Miller can come up with here. Miller looking to pass. Now extending the play. Crowd wanted a flag as Miller lowers the shoulder and will make it first and goal. The crowd reacting to what they thought should have been a hold on that play on the left side yeah, of the line. On Gilbert on the outside. And he takes off and runs right there. And then another one down here from, Martin, from uh, Carlos Hyde. First and goal. Just like that, Ohio State moving with ease, and High just steps over the defender into the end zone, and Ohio State puts a touchdown on the board. Heck, they just they just played power football. Did a nice job. Carlos Hyde wasn't even challenged. Fourth and six. Let's got to get to the 15, and it is incomplete. Defended by Christian Bryant. And Ohio State remains undefeated. Going to overtime here at Ohio Stadium. Ohio State trying to stay undefeated. The comeback in the final minute, engineered by Kenny Guyton. Corey Brown was nicked up earlier in the game. We did not see much of him in that fourth quarter. And Kenny Guyton just hanging on. Trying to dive back to the line of scrimmage. Second down, Robert Macy has had a good day defensively. He was there to bother Guyton. Empty set for Guyton. Eyes downfield. Got stoned by a first down inside the 10. Diving to the 7. The first catch of the day for Jake. And you can see Kenny Guyton getting more and more comfortable standing in the pocket. Great protection by his offensive line, keeping the pocket, and Guyton stands there, waits on Stoneburner, Stoneburner to break across the field and throws a strike. 17-yard pickup, Guyton now 6 for 12, 77 yards. On in relief, they give to Carlos Hyde. Gets the helmet down inside the 5 to the 3, tackled by Taylor Richards. Second and goal. 17 carries, 91 yards today for Carlos Hyde. He'll get it again. Trying to second effort it in. No, check that. Guyton keeps it diving to the one. Good ball fake. Carlos Hyde diving in for the touchdown. Take the lead in overtime. Stepping up on the run. Launching it for the end zone. Incomplete. And the Ohio State Buckeyes win it in overtime.
State with a chance to retake the lead. JT Barrett, who did not run the ball very much in the second half. They used a couple different guys as the Wildcat quarterback. Some huge runs on that first overtime possession. Elliott stood up by Hall again at the 10-yard line. Depending on how long we play, Hall may end up with 25 tackles before it's over. Second down and seven at the 10. Play action. Barrett all day to throw. Now he's going to run with it. Got away from the first man. Tripped up as he got down within a yard of the first down marker again. Boy, a really good decision by J.T. Barrett. He waited as long as he could to allow that pass play to develop. It wasn't there. He felt an opening to his right, and he exploited it to get close to a first down. Third down. I'm thinking Barrett's running here again. Third and short. Empty, empty. backfield. Hireman comes in front to lead the way. And he goes straight ahead for the first down, and it might be the touchdown. Yes, it is. Barrett for the score. Ball game right here. If they don't get a first down, it's over. Fourth and six. Hackenberg. Hit and dropped, and the game is over, and it's Bosa. Well, this is a mismatch. Somehow Bosa got matched up on Akeel Lynch. That's a mistake up front for Penn State, and he just overpowered Lynch and drove Lynch right in to Christian Hackenberg. Buckeyes on offense from the 25. If you wouldn't have told me that tonight, I'd never know. He, no. is, he has been money. Wilson motions in. They pitch it back to Samuel on a reverse. Slips a tackle. And the Brooklyn native muscles down inside the 15. Think of a block there in front of him to be able to give him some room to run there. McLaurin, the sophomore out of Indianapolis. Barrett from the pocket over the middle. Complete. And breaking free is James Clark, who gets involved, a junior from Florida, down inside the 10. Yeah, good patience there. He felt the blitz. T.J. Watt and also Jack Sitchie came on the right. They were picked up. He was looking downfield into the end zone, but ended up coming down and kind of checked that down. Good decision to be patient there by Barrett. Barrett keeps it. Tries to get outside. Flag comes in as the quarterback is dropped at the five. It'll be first and goal. Watt stopped him, but let's check the marker. Holding offense, number 74. Ten-yard penalty. Repeat second down. It's not about Prince. This time it's Jones with the, with the hold. That guy's making it tough on themselves in this series. At the second and 13 now. Okay. T.J. Watt trying to get his head gear adjusted. Barrett flips it to Samuel. The Badgers close him down. Samuel still has the speed to make the corner and get back down inside the 10. It'll be third down and about two. His acceleration to the corner, and then you think he might just go out of bounds, but then he turns his shoulders, kind of squares up, and picks up another six yards. Bringing Mike Weber into the game. What do you think, Kirk? If he gets oh, stopped here, does he dare go for it? Well, court? probably a zone read of some kind where you give Weber or Barrett a chance to run the football, depending on the read. Got to hurry. Play clock at two. Barrett keeps it. Fires. End zone. Brown touchdown. Noah Brown stretched out and makes a catch and a dart from the quarterback to give Ohio State the lead. Morning, Brook. Knocked down. Ohio State makes a defensive stand and survives in Madtown in overtime.
can win it. And six here. Running all the way. Making his way. Eating five. Weber motions out. Barrett sacked. Again, Taco Charlton along with Ben Gideon. Well, it's it's again the right tackle, Isaiah Prince. It's a combination of great Taco Charlton and watch Isaiah Prince. Does not get his arms extended, his hands out. Charlton is able to just get right around him with quick hands and just quick lateral movement around him. But well, as poor, you'd think Isaiah Prince, they would use a, a back or a tight end, somebody to help him because he is continuing to get beat to the outside. Maybe that's eight sacks for Michigan, almost equals half of the total. Ohio City given up all season long. They need nine on third down. Barrett to Samuel. Can he make a bunch of guys miss? Cuts back. Retreating. Has blocks. Samuel. Still alive and stopped just short of the marker. That was adventurous. Urban he Meyer, could have retreated out of, out of field, goal field, field goal range. Urban Meyer saying, hurry, get to the line, get to the line, get to the line. I don't know if he's going to call another timeout. Last time he did is he called a timeout. This Fourth time down. It's the ball game if they can't get half a yard. And now again, a whistle from the Michigan side. They spend a defensive timeout. Almost came down to a few breathless seconds and a half yard needed. Incredible. Because the fans were all thinking, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's one of those plays. Now you you now you're with the decision to, to go for it. Forget the field goal. Forget triple overtime. Keep the drive alive and win it right now. And it's fourth and a half a yard. There's probably two defenses in the country. It'd be Michigan and Alabama. It's tough to get a half a yard in this kind of scenario. Wolverines need to stop then all the misery head to head put both the back Samuel and Weber both in the backfield Keeper Hit right at the marker the spot will decide it Delano Hill got there it looks like it's a first down it is Ohio State stays alive barely they put both the backs in the backfield to try to give them the option to go left or right. But they put it into the hands of JT Barrett after the fake there to Samuel. See, he gets hit low there by Hill. They're going to review the spot. They're going to review the spot. He was hit low, then, then ran into a couple of bodies high and knocked down. And this is going to be scrutinized by William Simons, the replay official. After review, the play stands as called on the field. Which I agree with. Very, very difficult to overturn a spot, especially in a spot like this. So first down Ohio State, still 15 yards away from the goal line. Barrett, barely. Samuel cuts it back. Ohio State wins. They're going to hand it off to Dobbins, his 38th carry of the day. He's inside the 20 and pushed out of bounds at the 16-yard line by Savage. So that's a nine-yard pickup on the first play of overtime. What a workhorse he's been, guys. I don't know if Ohio State would be in this game without J.K. Dobbins. Well, especially as you pointed out, to Tom, to us, the injury to Mike Weber that's been undisclosed. 91 plays run by Ohio State to 61 by Maryland. 
second and one. Haskins throws to Dobbins. He can't come up with it. It would have been one on one over there had he pulled that ball in with a linebacker Isaiah Davis but he couldn't make the catch. Third down. It was a good thought against all out pressure from Maryland's defense. This particular spot third and one. I got to give it to Dobbins. It's been so good for me today especially in this part of the field. I got to give him a crack at it on third and short. Haskins has also done a good job running the ball. He hands it off. No, he keeps it after the fake, and it's going to be close. Boy, it looked like he gave it to Dobbins and then took it back. It is fourth down. He's short. Do you go for it, or do you trust your kicker? I go for it. It's one of the best players in all of college football. And I want to give him a chance to make a play, even though I would think at this part of the field, this far to gain, J.K. Dobbins would likely get the first crack at it. Fourth down. It's going to be a pass, and it's caught by Barry inside the 10. Out of bounds at the 5. If it's J.T. Barrett in 2017, that's a quarterback run. In 2018, fourth down, in overtime, it's Haskins throwing the ball. Just a great play call from Ryan Day. They go with a little spider three. Maryland coaches screaming, pop pass, pop pass. Haskins to throw, goes to Barry again. Inside the two, and out of bounds at the one. There is a penalty flag down, thrown at the eight-yard line. Here he might have grabbed the Personal face foul. mask. Wow. Face mask. Offense number 66, 15-yard penalty. Repeat first down. The bottom of your screen lined up wide. Haskins. Going to the end zone, overthrows the receiver, but a flag interference going to be called. Paris Campbell grabbed by Antoine Richardson. Pass interference. Defense number 20, 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. It's to safety. you got to take advantage of that if you're the quarterback. Haskins does just that. Haskins keeps it. Dives in. Touchdown, Buckeyes! Going for two in the win. Pigram rolling out, looking, throws, no! 